Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ryan Finners. Welcome back to the Finnertainment channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I made a last name established rustic sign. Y'all stay tuned. I started this project with a scrap piece of 1x12 board and I put some 60 grit sandpaper on my electric sander just to smooth down the edges. Here shown is I'm laying down the first and second coat of Krylon Black. I did this first, I want a real dark color first. And once this right here completely dries, I come back with Rust-Oleum Teal shown here. Now I left this board to dry overnight before we get on to our next step. So while the paint was drying, I went ahead and came inside and got on this website called defont.com and uh, put my last name into the search bar to see what other fonts would look like with my last name. It's kind of like a preview. I found the one I liked. It was for personal use only, so you cannot take this and resell it. Here I'm just downloading the program to my computer, uploading it into Design Space, put my last name in here, and I had to select the font. Then I went ahead and ungrouped it, moved my letters close together, and I grouped the font back together and then I welded it so you wouldn't have no lines and everything would be connected as in one piece here. So I just ungrouped it back and it's just welded. I added another line of text for our established anniversary date. Went ahead and grouped it all together and centered it horizontally. Once I have this right here, it's time to print. Now the Cricut machine is cutting the vinyl once the vinyl has been cut from the Cricut machine, I remove the mat away from the machine, remove the vinyl away from the mat, and start to demask this. Usually you would demask the opposite part, but since we're going to use this as a mask and shoot the paint through it, I remove the letters itself. What I'm using here is called transfer tape, and the transfer tape allows you to hold the front part together and remove this backing here like shown. Now I'm working on my kitchen table. This is a farmhouse table I built. I've done a bunch of projects on here so I'm really rough with it since it's supposed to be rustic as well. And if you guys would like to see builds like this right here in the future, please leave them in the comments below. Now once we get the letters and everything, the mask on the board, I went ahead and started to remove the transfer film, but don't throw that film away. If you're going to build one as well, you're going to need it here in just a second to cover more excess parts of the board that you do not want paint to get onto. All right, guys, so I carried the sign back out to the shop again, and I grabbed navy blue, and I grabbed some white Rust-Oleum spray paint, and I sprayed it. And then I said, you know what, I don't like all blue, and I tried white, and then I just tried mixing it together, and I wanted it to uh, look kind of just off the wall. I took my heat gun to uh, speed up the process of the drying time, and it worked pretty good. Next here, I removed the mask, and I did not pull it really quick. I was scared I was going to pull the Rust-Oleum paint off with it, but none came off. I was really shocked. And then I grabbed a razor blade and started removing the excess pieces of the vinyl graphics. So this is the fun step for me. After all the work we put in painting it, laying the letters down, it's time to ruin it, mess it up, and make it look old. Here shown, I have an old wire brush I'm using to help rough up the corners. And I also have my electric sander with 60 grit paper. I probably could have used 40 uh, or 100 or 80. It don't really matter. Uh, and I went ahead and went over the entire thing. Once I had it the way I wanted it, I went ahead and wiped it off, took it back inside to get ready for the next step. All right, I'm using amazing clear cast resin here to clear coat this sign. Basically, this is bar top epoxy, and you can find a link in the description below where I purchased this from. Once I had both of my parts mixed together thoroughly, I went ahead and applied it to the sign. And I basically just pouring it on as much as I can and it will pretty much self level. I just laid the entire thing on there and I brushed it back and forth and uh, pretty much let it go where it wanted to go. Now I will say the epoxy is really sticky and really messy so be sure to cover your table or workspace really good like I have here with the trash bags uh, underneath it. And go ahead and apply it to the edge. You want it to run over and cover all the edges like shown here. 
once you have this right here done and you're happy with everything let it sit for 24 hours all right once 24 hours have passed you can go ahead and now start touching it and holding it check out that shine now I went ahead and used really strong 3M double-sided tape and mounted my sign above my kitchen sink. Again guys, everything I listed in this video will be in the description where you can find it as well. My name is Ryan Finners and you've been watching the Finnertainment channel. If you haven't, please subscribe, click like on this video and leave a comment. Also check out these other great videos and we'll see you later.